find all real numbers x, for which there exists a triangle ABC, with circumradius 2. Such that angle ABC is greater than or equal to 90 degrees. And x to the power of 4, plus ax cubed, plus bx squared, plus cx, plus 1, equals 0. Where a equals bc, b equals ca, c equals ab. From equation 1, it is evident that x is less than 0. Because if x is greater than or equal to 0, then the left side of equation 1, is greater than or equal to 1. Which does not equal the right side of equation 1. Then how to solve this quartic equation? If the coefficients of a polynomial equation are integers, then we could try and see whether rational roots theorem can be applied to solving the equation. However, we just know that AB and C are the side lengths of triangle ABC. They are not necessarily integers. So we cannot use rational root theorem. We will try to use completing the square method to solve the problem. We notice that x to the power of 4, and ax cubed, have a common factor x squared. So they can be written as x squared, times x squared plus ax. Now we add x squared, a squared, over 4, and minus x squared, a squared, over 4. Then x squared, plus ax, plus a squared over 4, can be written as x plus a over 2 all squared. Keep minus a squared, x squared, over 4, plus bx squared unchanged. Similarly, for cx plus 1, we add c squared, x squared, over 4, and minus c squared, x squared, over 4. So that c squared, x squared, over 4, plus cx, plus 1 can be written as cx over 2, plus 1 all squared. Negative a squared, x squared, over 4, plus bx squared, minus c squared, x squared, over 4. Can be written as, b minus, a squared plus c squared, over 4, times x squared. The first two terms on the left side of equation 2 are two squares. So they must be greater than or equal to 0. This implies that the last term on the left side of equation 2 must be less than or equal to 0. We have already known that x is less than 0, so x squared does not equal 0. Therefore, b minus, a squared plus c squared, over 4, must be less than or equal to 0. This implies that 4b is less than or equal to a squared plus c squared. By the law of cosines, we know that b squared equals a squared, plus c squared, minus 2ac, times cosine angle abc. We are given that angle ABC is greater than or equal to 90 degrees. Which means cosine angle ABC is less than or equal to zero. This implies that A squared, plus C squared, is less than or equal to B squared. From inequalities 3 and 4, we know that 4B is less than or equal to B squared. This implies that B is greater than or equal to 4. However, it is evident that B is less than or equal to 4 as the circumradius is 2. So b equals 4. That is to say, b is a diameter of the circumcircle. So angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees. And triangle ABC is a right-angled triangle. By Pythagoras' theorem, we know that a squared, plus c squared, equals b squared, which is equal to 16. This means that b minus, a squared, plus c squared, over 4, is equal to 0. So equation 2 becomes, the sum of two squares equals 0. This implies that each square must be equal to 0. So we have, x plus a over 2 equals 0. And cx over 2 plus 1 equals 0. From x plus a over 2 equals 0, we have, x equals negative a over 2. From cx over 2 plus 1 equals 0, we have, x equals negative 2 over c. This gives, ac equals 4. As a squared plus c squared equals 16, and ac equals 4. So a squared, plus 2ac, plus c squared, equals 16 plus 8, which is equal to 24. That is, 
a plus c all squared equals 24. So a plus c equals 2 root 6. The negative value is discarded as a and c are greater than 0. Now we have a system of equations. a plus c equals 2 root 6. And ac equals 4. By Vieta's formulas, a and c are roots of quadratic equation. t squared, minus 2 root 6 t, plus 4 equals 0. So a equals 2 root 6, plus or minus, root of 24 minus 16, over 2. Which is equal to 2 root 6, plus or minus, 2 root 2, over 2. Which is equal to root 6, plus or minus, root 2. So x equals negative root 6, plus or minus, root 2, over 2. There are two solutions.